is Chang Li, Trimic Application Engineer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to link dimensions and, and the importance of linking dimensions. So linking dimensions in SOLIDWORKS um, allows us to easily manipulate design data, uh, whether it's the length, width, or height of this cube that you see on my screen. I can automatically allow SOLIDWORKS to synchronize the dimensions between, let's say, the length and the width to be equal to each other um, using linking dimensions in SOLIDWORKS. We have two ways to do this. The first one is called link values, and the second one is called global variables, and I'll show you both methods. First, I've gone ahead and created a cube here. This is a cube that is 100 by 90 uh, with a height of 80 or a depth of 80, and then also has a hole cut out here of about 40 uh, in diameter and um, 80 in the depth of the cut. So my objective here is to link the length and the width of this cube, 100 and 90, to be equal to each other. But instead of setting the 90 to equal 100, I'm going to go ahead and create a linked value so that the next time I come across this or, or have to change this design, I only have to change it for one of these dimensions and it will apply to the other respective dimension. So I'll go over here. The, the process is very simple for linking values. I'm going to right click on the dimension that's shown on my screen and then I'll have an option in the right menu button menu called link values. I'm going to go ahead and click link values and it's going to prompt me with a dialog box here called shared values and it's going to ask me to give a name. So for this, I'll go ahead and say uh, linked values as a name. And then you should see that the dimension 100 has this infinity notation next to it. Now I've created a the starting point of this linked value. Next, I'll come over here to this 90, right click on that, do the same process of going to linked values, then under the name, instead of typing a new name or typing in the, uh, the name linked values like we did before, I'll just click the drop down and click the already created name here and click OK. Now you should see that there are two dimensions, 100, 100, with the infinity notation next to it. From here, if I needed to change the dimension or the length and width here of this geometry, I can come over to one of them, type in, let's say, 90, click OK, and you'll see that the 90 has been changed for both the length as well as the width. So let's take a look at how to create uh, a global variable um, to link our dimensions. The process will be similar. I'm going to double click on the dimension instead of right clicking on it. If you double click on a dimension, you'll be prompted with the dialog box for modifying that dimension. So in here, instead of the 80 value that we have in there, I'm going to type in the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a new name. Instead of linked value that I had before, I'll go ahead and type in global, click OK. And once I click the enter button, it's going to prompt me with a question, do you want to build a new global variable? I'll go ahead and click yes and click OK. Once I've done that, that dimension 80 has a sigma notation next to it as opposed to the infinity sign. And as such, you'll see that the 80 is available there. I can change it the same way as I did before. I can say this is, let's say 70 instead. Click OK. And you'll see that the change has reflected and I see the 70 for the dimension. Now all of this is recorded or um, can be observed from the equations list. SolarWorks has an equations list that you can access from your um, feature tree. You can also access it from searching through a command search. So you can also search for it here, type in equations. In here, we see a little bit of the difference between global variables method and the linked values method. While one, the linked values method created a suppose global variable equal to 90, it is not available to be edited. 
and we also don't see the respective equations for it. On the other hand, for a global variables method, we see that the global variable independent variable has been assigned to equal 70. The independent has been assigned to that dimension. So that was a quick look at how to use linking dimensions in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.